Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com hourly analysis for the Aussie dollar US dollar FX for Wednesday, February 20th, 2013. Well, a very uh, bearish candle for this uh, completed uh, final completed hour of trading. We have a very large black body candle with sellers coming back into this market strongly once again following a, uh, a fairly weak uh, rally here. And uh, this market uh, failed to change the trend. The trend in the first time frame was to the upside here with these candles making a series of higher highs and higher lows. In this instance we have an outside bar in bar chart terms. The candle made a higher high but a lower low and it does raise some serious doubt about continuation of the trend to the upside because technically we still have an uptrend in place. We do not have a lower high and lower low at the moment but I suggest that uh, that will happen potentially in the next hour of trading. Solid support down below where the markets trading at the moment here we see this uh, uh, hammer type pattern and the market found support down around the 10240 level so we do need to watch that area just uh, around there because we did see some solid price rejection from there uh, with this uh, final candle that we have here we have a uh, potential um, bearish engulfing uh, pattern candle here it does suggest uh, very strongly that there is potential for a change of trend and that's where the body of this candle completely engulfs the body of the previous candle uh, whilst the market was in an uptrend so a uh, strong likelihood of a reversal in the first time frame with this market resuming this second time frame downtrend uh, that, that uh, the market's in the second time frame downtrend was established at uh, this point here we have a, a series of lower peaks and lower troughs this peak is just lower than the previous and establishment of that second time frame downtrend at this level it did set the market up for the breakout down below the cloud but moving back to the beginning of trading today here we saw the market open up above the uh, middle pivot point level and find support down around that area it coincided with the area of the Kijun Sen and we know that the Kijun Sen can uh, hold as very strong support for this market the market was trading up above both the Kijun Sen and the cloud giving us a bullish market in the uh, long and medium term time frames and then as the market uh, traded throughout the trading day we saw a bearish breakout down below the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen giving us a, a bearish market in the medium and fast term time frames and a breakout down below the middle pivot point level that was holding as support prior so quite a change of sentiment in the market and a very large black body candle that we haven't seen for quite some time on the hourly charts in this market it did set the market up for the breakout that we saw down below the cloud a very thin area of cloud and then in the next couple of hours of trading the market attempted to rally through the cloud and it held as resistance uh, we saw some uh, minor support at the first pivot point support level but then a solid bearish breakout with a uh, candle where the sellers had control of this market and it did suggest there was good potential for the market to trade to lower levels the market then traded in a bearish manner down through the 103 level and then um, uh, uh, selling off with a very strong first time frame downtrend and trading uh, down through the second pivot point level in a very bearish way with the new uh, pivot point level set for the trading day today we have seen the market open uh, down below the first pivot point level so if we do see the market rally that will have uh, a potential um, uh, resistance to this market around that area that's uh, around the 102.85 level but uh, with the market now trading down below the cloud, the Kijunsen, the Tenkinsen, we have a bearish market in all three time frames and that Tenkinsen is pointing out fairly sharply so that's the first area around the Tenkinsen that we should be looking at for resistance and we have seen that resistance come in in, in a uh, small zone there and the market sell off for this hour's trading. Looking at the kitchen scent, however, that is pointing flat, so that does raise some doubt about this market uh, continuing to sell off. There is potential for the market to rally back up towards that flat kitchen scent, but the market will need to trade through the Tenkan Sen, which is at 102.64, and the pivot point area around this 102.80 level. And we have solid uh, resistance for this market around 103. Uh, we have the confluence of the uh, that 
area, previous area based on peaks and troughs and previous support and resistance and also the Kijun Sen trading in that area. If we see the market continue to sell off and trade through the 102.36 uh, uh, level then uh, we do have solid support down at 102.18 and the first pivot point support area at 102.04 and down around the 101.56 area. So solid support uh, for this market extending down to 102.18 initially but uh, resistance uh, close by uh, at the Tenkatsan at 102.64 and then up to the 102.85 level. Thank you.